Hello, and welcome to our EM1010 How-To Series, Cap Embroidery. In this four-part series, we will cover how to install the cap driver, attach the cap station, hoop the cap, and insert and remove the cap hoop. Let's begin with installing the cap driver. Before we begin the process of cap hooping, make sure that you have all of your equipment handy. For this process, you will need a cap, the cap driver, a screwdriver, the cap station, the cap ring, binder clips, and cap backing. Let's begin by installing the cap driver. Your new EM1010 will come with a cap driver, allowing you to embroider on caps. To install it correctly, please follow these simple steps. If a flat frame support is already attached, you may refer to our Framing Your Fabric video for removal instructions. The cap driver is equipped with four small wheels that slide into a rail attached to the sewing arm of the machine. Position the cap driver in line with the railing, making sure that the wheels are aligned. Push the cap driver toward the back of the machine. Your driver comes with two sets of holes. The left holes on each set connect to the metal stubs. The right holes on each set are used for securing the cap driver to the machine. To secure the cap driver, Insert and tighten each screw with a supplied screwdriver through the two right holes. Make sure the cap driver is tightly secured so that your machine runs smoothly. Thank you for watching our EM1010 How-To Series, Installing the Cap Driver. In part two of our EM1010 How-To Series, Cap Embroidery, we learn how to attach the cap station. Stay tuned.